What up you girls? I want to welcome you to this video. Today I'm going to talk about Quetos, who is one of owner of our eShop most anticipated omnibus of this year. Yes, today I'm going to take a closer look to Spider-Man 2099 Omnibus Volume 2. But before I start, please don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it means world to us. Also, check out TikTok and Instagram. Okay, let's check it out. Spider-Man 2099 Omnibus Volume 2. Cover price is 125 USD and it has 1,256 pages. This is a pretty big book and it contains both 2015's and 2016's Spider-Man 2099 series, few issues from Superior Spider-Man and Captain Marvel series, Secret Wars 2099 miniseries, and material from 2099 Unlimited magazines. Classically, we get two variant covers. I own this direct market cover with artwork by Pascal Fieri, and we see here some of major players of this book, specifically future Spidey, Hulk, or members of future Avengers and Defenders. Here we have a standard cover with artwork by Simon Bianchi. Here we see only Miguel in his classic suit and behind him is a cyberpunk New Eva York. In back cover we see many covers of issues and omnibus at the sides and in the middle is Art of Spidey 2099, sum up of story and list of issues and creators who works on material in this omnibus. At the top of a spine is a classic Marvel omnibus logo and a knee that is name and logo of the title and at the bottom is actually pretty big Art of Spidey. If you wonder how both volumes looks next to each other, you can check it right here. And as you can see, they looks great. Board of book have a cool red design, similar with the board design of Ultimate Universe by Jonathan Hickman Omnibus. Instead of widescreen art, we have here two separate arts. In front, we have a Miguel in new costume and few of his allies. And in back, we see Miguel, also in new costume, gliding through the New York. Spine is actually same as in dust jacket, only Spidey art in the bottom is different. I think it is the same art as in standard dust jacket, but I own DM cover, so there is difference. When we open the book, we have here opening page with name of the title and cool art of Spidey 2099 in OG costume. Next is table of contents slash credit double page, as usual with information about every talent who work on content of this book also, as we are used to, without number of pages. And after that, we get the stories itself. First, we get a material from 2099 Unlimited magazine, in which was collected few stories from World of Marvel 2099. Logically, in this book, we have a parts focused on Spider-Man. These stories wasn't written by Peter David as main series was, and you can feel it. Most of them are really forgettable, like, they are not bad, but it also aren't in a special. Except the one story from Len Wein, which was really good. These stories happened during original Spider-Man 2099 series, which was collected in first omnibus. So without this knowledge, there might be a little confusion. I understand why they are collected in volume 2. With page count on 1384 pages of first omnibus, another 100 plus pages could be actually too much. But on the other hand, it would be nice if Marvel print here some info note, something like these issues take places during events of Spider-Man 2099 Omnibus Volume 1. It's little detail, I know, but it would be really helpful. After these 90 stories, we have here a short story from Peter David's Captain Marvel series. Yes, Peter David is creator of Spider-Man 2099 and he is true legend of comic book industry. He works on Fantastic Hulk Run, which was released in several Omnis, also create future Tyrant Hulk version named Maestro, and stories of this character are collected in its own omnibus, same as his fantastic Captain Marvel run, from which is short story in this book. It is good and really fun story, no doubt about that, but I want to talk about double dipping for a while, because this story we can find also in two other Omnis, logically in Captain Marvel, Janiswell Omnibus, and also in Maestro by Peter David Omnibus. Actually, we have here two stories which double dip with Maestro Omnibus, 
this one with Captain Marvel, and also one from 2015, Spider-Man 2009 in Iran. This book also doubled a little with Superior Spider-Man Omnibus Volume 1 and Spider-Ware spider Gideon Omnibus. It's little double dipping from each book, so I think this isn't a big deal, but I think you should know that. To be specific, we talk about 4 issue double dipping with Captain Marvel Omnibus, 6 issues with Maestro Omnibus, 4 issues with Spider-Ware spider Gideon Omnibus, and finally 3 issues with Superior Spider-Man Omnibus Volume 1. All of these issues are so much fun and are essential for whole Spider-Man 2099 story, so it makes sense they are collected here. For example, Superior Spider-Man issue set up why and how was Miguel transported from future to today's New York City. Maybe Spider-Ware's issues might be a little bit confusing without other issues of even, but hey, go buy Spider-Ware spider get an omnibus. It is so much fun. Honestly. I was a little bit worried how I would like Miguel's adventure in present days. World of Cyberpunk New York was gritty and dark, and I really love it. So I was wondering how will Miguel fit to today's climate of Big Apple. Surprise, surprise, he fits pretty well and it is so good. I enjoy it so much. Miguel is stuck in present day and his goal is logically return to his time. But it is an easy task, so he need to get used to his new home get a job, meet present-day superheroes, and protect his grandfather, whom is CEO of Alchemax Company, an actually corrupt a-hole in cahoots with shady businesses and supervillains, same as his future son and Miguel's father. Except of this, Miguel finds love and also fights with inner demons and wild and dark urges. I need to say I really enjoy this series and this is proof of how freaking awesome writer Peter David is. First modern Spider-Man 2099 series lasts for 12 issues and it wasn't cancelled or anything like that. No, it was actually interrupted by Hickman's multiverse shattering event Secret Wars. And from this world we get a mini-series Secret Wars 2099. I don't want to get to any spoilers, but I tell you this, we actually don't see Spider-Man 2099 here. So I was a little bit confused why it is included in the book. Don't get me wrong. It is a really good read, and we get to know some other characters from 2099 as characters from X Men 2099. By the way, X Men 2099 Omnibus will be finally released in end of this month. After Secret Wars 2099 miniseries, Spider Man 2099 series was relaunched and continues with its story. And right here, I start understand why Secret Wars 2099 is included in this book. In the first issue of Second Modern Spider-Man 2099 series, some pretty big important things happened, and I don't want to spoil anything, so excuse me, I will be really vague about events in the series. I tell you this, Miguel's gone a little bit dark and lost, and my balance of the line of morality here. David's work with Miguel's character is fantastic, and he gave his amazing story full of twists and surprises, and also full of fun. Also, I really need to praise how we included events of second superhero civil war in the series. These issues actually doesn't have any impact on main Civil War II's event, but go in its own direction. And what is important? Evolve main story of Spider-Man 2099 series. It fits perfectly to overall story and doesn't disrupt flow of it. Great job, Mr. David. After that, we get a truly heartbreaking finale full of action, twists, and emotional damage. Trust me folks, this book is wild ride and really fun to read. I have a blast with it. And after that we get the extras. First are some afterwords from creators from last issue of Spider-Man 2099 series. Next is classical cover gallery full of variant covers and covers of collected editions. We have here around 20 pages of covers. After that we have here parts of scripts and of course character designs and sketches. Marvel gave us pretty standard portion of bonus material and everyone who likes these things will be satisfied. And that's all. Spider-Man 2099 Omnibus Volume 2 is a really good book. I was skeptical when I opened it, but I'm really surprised how much I love it and enjoy it. If you are a fan of Miguel O'Hara, time traveling or overall Spider-Man, you shouldn't overlook this book. 
If Spider-Man 2099 Omnibus Volume 2 catch your attention, you can order your own copy in our eShop, comicsbugle.com, your friendly neighborhood comic book shop in Europe. Accept of great catalog of collected, deluxe and absolute editions, epic collections and omnibuses, we guarantee you eco-friendly hawkproof packaging, free shipping in whole EU, an option to pre-order your comic book now and pay for it later. You can also split full price to four separate payments because we know how expensive these books can be. So check it out, comicsbugle.com. You can find direct links below this video. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out any further videos. In the comment section, let us know what other omnibuses would you like to see in our videos. And see ya, Bugles!